Everyone's got different bodies. Different bodies. In ways that you enjoy. Everyone's got different bodies. Different bodies. Different bodies. In ways that you enjoy. Exploring this thing called trans. Trans as in transgender, transsexual, transvestite, tranny, and transitioning. If you feel transfused, don't worry. Together, we hope to transform your confusion into translightenment. For the purposes of this show, it's important that you know what we mean by sex and gender. For a radically oversimplified definition, let's say that sex is what's between your legs and gender is what's between your ears. People usually define themselves and others by what's between our legs is our sex. But this doesn't always match what's between our ears. How's that for a mindfuck? Trans cabaret is a step towards putting all of these complicated feelings together and trying to make some sense of them. If sex is between the legs, or more precisely, sex-defined identity is between the legs, and gender is between the ears, what about the rest of the person? What about intersex people, two-spirit people? Do they feel comfortable being part of this trans community, such as it is? What about gender queers and questioning people? There's a trans pride march next month at Pride. Friday night, come and show your support. For now, Let's see what Terry's doing. Different bodies. Different bodies. Different bodies. In ways that you... Finally! What? Where have you been? You've been gone all day. I was over in the rent, getting food for our table. Trying to get your damn meds. Make yourself look pretty for you. See my nails? Pretty for me, huh? Or pretty for the girls? Pretty for someone else? Please honey, with everything else they do around here, I don't have time for anyone else. Besides, you're the only man I want to look good for. Oh, shucks. So, where's the food being delivered as we speak? My bread menus. I'll have to order it. I don't know what you can and cannot eat with your crazy meds, and I don't want to make any assumptions what you like in your mouth. Hmm. You know what I like in my mouth, darling. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. You didn't get my pills. Lazy ass, get your own damn meds. Get off my lazy ass. What the hell are you talking about? Let's remember who wears the pants in this house. If you want to be a woman, then act like one and. Do the chores. Do the chores? Who wants the pants? I'm telling you, wanting all the benefits of a sensational she-male and spitting on this tranny trash. Take your tired tranny ass and get out of my sight! So it's a woman's shelter, and we take anybody who identifies as a woman. You're not going to make me go to a men's shelter, are you? Do you want to go to a men's shelter? No, no, I'm a woman. I prefer to be with other women. Okay, so you can share in a room. Well, as long as they don't bother me, that's fine. Well, if they do, just come to the office, okay? Hey, how's it going? Great. Man, I need to shave. I hate shaving every day. It's such a drag, eh? Hey buddy, you don't got an extra razor. No, man, sorry. Yeah, I guess you're too young to be shaving. Man, you should go to a youth shelter. It's way safer. I'm too old for a youth shelter. Get up. You're like 16. I'm 27. Shut up. You're not 27. <laughs> I mean, you don't even shave. 
What kind of 27 year old doesn't even shave? An FTM, not on testosterone. Huh? What are you talking about? Nothing, don't worry about it. No way. An FTM. Is that like a M to F? What, like you used to be a chick? Uh, you could say that, but don't. No. I'm a trans guy. A trans guy. Like you're a fag. Like, broke back nothing and stuff. <laughs> a trans guy, not a gay guy. You're a trans. So where's your dress? Huh? Nah, I'm shitting you. My uh, girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend, is a tranny. You were dating a tranny? Yeah, I was living with her. But I messed it up. Man, I blew it. We got into this stupid argument, and then she left. That sucks. Sorry, dude. Hey, do you want to go for a beer or something? No, I gotta get going. Sorry, dude. Hey, no, not so fast, girl. My name's Robert, dude. Really? Because you look like a chick to me. You want a dick? I mean, give me a dick. Ow! Fuck! I'm not gonna forget this, buddy. You're not 27. I mean, you don't even shave. What kind of 27 year old doesn't even shave? A tranny, not on hormones. Wait, a tranny? You used to be a chick. Yeah, born a girl, still do dykes, full time guy, part time guy. You're like, broke back mountain? <laughs> Sometimes. My girlfriend, or sorry, my ex-girlfriend is trendy. It's the stupidest thing I've ever did. If I could take it back, I would. That's Terry. Terry. Cute chick. Always handing out flyers for that trans human rights march next month. Yeah. Huh. That's my girl. How do you know Terry? We're, uh... Working on a show, Trans Cabaret. Oh my God, that's wild! Hey, do you want to go for a beer or something? Actually, I gotta get going. Come on. It's on me, I got a couple of bucks left. I can't talk to anybody in here about this sort of stuff. Everyone is so transphobic. All right. Sure, just one. Okay, come on. Uh, let's go. It's me, Robert. Hi, Mom, it's me, Robert. Hi, Mom. It's me, Robert. Robert. Please have a seat, Bobby. It's Robert. Occasionally, Bob. Never. Bobby. So I understand you lost your ID, Robert. Yeah, sort of. It doesn't really fit who I am anymore, so I threw it out. What do you mean? I'm a female to male transsexual, and my ID says female. Uh, I'm also a vegetarian. That's not going to be an issue, is it? Well... Last night I stayed in a men's shelter and almost got raped. I went to a bar with a buddy of mine for a couple of drinks and a couple of guys there started hassling us so I mouthed off at them and when I got back to the shelter they were there. I saw one of them in the bathroom and he grabbed me and <laughs> anyway the staff barred me for causing a fight so I came here. Why can't you help me? Look, I'm sorry to hear about that Robert, but as I said, this is a women's shelter and we can't really help you if you if you insist on going around calling yourself that, it doesn't make you female. Welcome to Fear Factor, the shelter version. Tonight we have three contestants. Terry, our lovely MTF. Robert, our desperate FTM. And Murdo, our 
for one of the meal shelter users. Our first task is to eat dinner for the other people in the room. Our contestants each have to pass the walk of shame. Can they each walk into the dining room without people laughing, pointing, snickering, threatening? First comes Robert. Make sure you are packing. Look tough. Look strong. Show no fear. There he goes. People are looking at her. Oops, <laughs> I mean him. Checking him out. No snickers, no nudges. It's looking good. And judges, what do you say? A four! Well done, Robert. We just can't accommodate your special needs. What with you being vegetarian? My vegetarianism? That's the issue here. It's not the fact that I'm transgender. It's not the fact that people can't deal with me calling them on their prejudices. Robert, we know that you're working through some issues right now, but we accept everybody regardless of their sexual orientation. What does my sexual orientation have to do with anything? I'm transgender. You don't know if I like boys or girls or both. Or neither. Look, we're doing this for your own good. People don't always follow the rules or show respect. It could become dangerous for you or the other residents here. You know. Yeah, I do know. You think I don't get what I'm dealing with here? We just think it's in your best interest if you leave. Here's a couple of tokens for the bus. With Terry Stern, make sure you are wearing makeup anytime you are in a common area. I hope those are heels. Are your breasts big enough today? Judges, does she pass? Look, I know we have to be all politically correct and we welcome everybody regardless of their sexuality or their race or religion or whatever. Or gender identity. What happens if some woman's been abused in the past and we put her in a room to sleep beside somebody with a penis? And what about the ones who want to have it both ways? Are you male or female? Make up your mind. This is a women's shelter. Let them go to the co-ed shelters. Do you think Scrumpers should go to a um, co-ed shelter because there's male and female there? Why do you think women come here instead of going to a co-ed shelter? Because they don't feel safe at a co-ed shelter. Do you think um, trans people are going to feel safe at a COVID shelter? Listen, women come here knowing that we accept trans people. And if they, if they don't like it, they can go elsewhere. Maybe we should make the same choices too. Maybe. Okay, contestants, our next exciting activity. Have your spoon today into that yummy pork and beans. The forks are going frizzly into their mouths. <coughs> Again. There goes Robert. Right. Forgot he's vegetarian. I guess he's lost his appetite. And he might lose a lot more. <laughs> oh no! I am twenty seven in trouble. I'm not sure if that's allowed at all. Am I right, judges? Congratulations, Murdo. You are our first place winner of Fear Factor, the shelter version. <laughs> Hi mom, it's me, Robert. Your son? I've been staying at a shelter and with some friends. Okay. I... Are you sure you want me to come home? I'm not your daughter, Bobby Lee, anymore, mom. I'm Robert, your son. Yeah, I just don't want to fight about this trans stuff anymore. Okay, okay, but mom, I'm calling to invite you to a show that I'm in called Trans Cabaret. And also, there's a Trans Pride March next month at Pride. You know this is the first time you called me your son? I'm proud of you, too. Okay, um, I'm in the middle of a rehearsal, so I have to go, but I will talk to you soon. Okay? I love you, too. Bye.
As you all know, what you see is not always what you get. Terry now looks like Terry with a Y. That Y again. We're going to make Terry look fabulous, not like some tired old cloth. So what shall we do with you today? Let's do the shelter special. A complete overhaul to handle the questions. The looks, the gossip, the fights. If it could pass, be so much easier. Now to pass as in live the life. As her fabulous self, the woman Terry knows and loves. Terry must go through certain processes. No, we're not going downstairs today. I'm sure most of you figured out that she was referring to a penectomy, removing the penis. When people talk about a sex change, this is usually what they refer to. A small percentage of people who are trans have had surgery. There are numerous reasons for this, but one of the main ones is cost. A penectomy followed by a vaginoplasty, creating a vagina, can cost up to $20,000. This, of course, does not come with free breasts or hormones for life, and this is a lot cheaper than going the other way. Creating a penis is also a long and expensive process. Taking about a year altogether, this is after the year minimum of living as a male. There are currently two common ways of creating a penis. Without going into the details, yes, one can get erect, and yes, one can have orgasms. According to you, Doc, word on the street is a little different. It would be great if we could find a way to combine the two processes. Come with a friend and swap two for the price of one. All right, we're going to move up, up, up to the face today. All that cutting and constructing is not going to do much if the face remains the same. Have you ever had that morning after, night before look? I bet you have. Some people need to shave twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. Hormones can help with that. Does electrolysis, but who has the money? $200 each visit, please. So we decided to shave Terry today. How was that? So gentle, can you do me every morning? Honey, you can't afford me. I'm a trained professional. All right, the eyes. We always started giving her her mascara and doing her lashes. Not that that is anywhere near where people are looking. You know, it's all about boobies, legs, and Adam's apple. Perhaps we'll do a scarf. It has been said that transsexuals have the best breasts. I wonder if they have the best tink tinks as well. Maybe you should do a little research. Breast removal is called top surgery and creating them is called breast augmentation. Enough with the big words, Doc. It's called a tit job. <laughs> Or you can use rolled up socks or rice filled pantyhose. Can be quite convincing in the right bra. What we call out plants, as opposed to implants. I love Ben and Jerry, and people always want a second scoop. The Adam's apple is often considered the Achilles heel of M to F's. The Adam's apple can be a big giveaway. It's not called Eve's apple. Did the apple Eve fed Adam get caught in his throat? He should have learned to swallow. <laughs> and XY, those who have no idea what the hell a chromosome is, and the rest of us. Think of gender as a circular continuum, a big circle. At one point, you have male and you have man. And at another point, you have female and you have woman. Now, in between these, people can shift and move. And we have some thoughts on what we've experienced, and we suspect you have some thoughts and fantasies about sharing the stage with trans people. Don't pretend you haven't thought about it. I know you have. I have been talking about transgendered and transsexuals. Within the realm of trans people, there are numerous other terms. Let's quickly go through some of the more common ones now. Someone who is transgendered is someone who has changed how he or she identifies their gender from that assigned at birth. A transsexual is someone who identifies emotionally and psychologically different from their assigned sex at birth. Transsexuals may or may not have had surgery. There are various other terms that are associated with trans. 
Not everyone is happy with these terms, and not everybody who identifies with one of these terms identifies with the trans community. Intersex used to be called hermaphrodites, and are now known as people with ambiguous genitalia. There are many conditions associated with intersex, and that is just one of them. Just ask your director, he knows all there is to know about the intersex community. Two-spirit is a First Nations term which describes a person who possesses both male and female spirit. Before colonization, two-spirit people were held in high regard as teachers and healers. Two-spirits may or may not identify as gay, lesbian, bi, or trans. Take a flash. There are other names in other cultures around the world which describe trans, like Hishra in India, Travesti in Brazil, and Transformista in Spanish-speaking countries. A drag queen is a bio, biological male who wears women's clothing, most often for a performance or fun. Drag king is the same, but different, a biological female who dresses as a male. A cross-dresser is someone who dresses in the clothes of the sex other than what they identify to. A cross-dresser is usually a straight man, whatever that means. Fluid is someone who moves between two or more gender identifications. Gender identified is a person who does not identify with a gender. Just in case you were not transfused enough, someone's sex or gender identification does not necessarily relate to their sexual desire identification, as in how or with whom they have sex. Any one of the above identified people can be any number of different sexual identifications. Homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual, asexual, pansexual, or any combination thereof. Everyone's got different bodies. Everyone's got different bodies. Different bodies in ways that you enjoy. Everyone's got different bodies. Different bodies. Different bodies. In ways that you enjoy. Wicked beauty. Beauty queen. Wicked beauty. Beauty queen. Joy. Wicked beauty. Beauty queen.
as a gender continue on and at some point you gotta say who's out of bounds well i'm sorry if i'm too much for you to wrap your pretty little head around but whoever's allowed on the land seems to get stuck Joy. 